Hey fam, it's your girl, Amy J, your personal hype man and friend here today on this Sunday, February 9th, 2020, checking in to see how you guys are doing. What's going on, folks? Remember, it's Sunday, so it is a time for rest, relaxation, and reflection. See what I did there? Remember, we got to look back on the past week to see how was it? What could we learn from it? What could we do better? What could we, what could we, um, what was a highlight where, you know, that was great. So we don't want to do worse. You got to look back because once you identify the things that worked and didn't work, that'll help you in the next week, right? If you learned, Hey, I need to be more patient in certain situations in the next week, that's the action item. Be more patient in those items, in those moments, right? So that's the reflection part, rest, relax, reflect. Um, there, there's other th ways people say it, but that's my thing. Rest, relax, reflect. Today, I'm, I'm excited because I really like this topic and this concept. And I, I hope if this was a good episode for you, you'll share it with your friends and your family and your network. Because I like this. This is an important one to me. And it's be curious. Be curious. T.D. Jakes, uh, Bishop T.D. Jakes spoke at the SOAR conference. And he was with, doc, uh, with Pastor Steve Furtick. And what he was saying was that we're all full of seeds. We have seeds within us and it's different from one person to the next. And, you know, God says to be fruitful. Well, we have to identify what those seeds are because not every fruit, not every seed is treated and grows the same way, right? So you have to figure out what is your seed and then nourish and take care of it and see it grow, see it blossom. And that's how, that's what's within us. And the first people who have the best chance to identify what your seed is are your parents or your brothers and sisters, your family, because they'll see you. They'll see you in your environment and they'll see if you're in the pool and that you're a natural swimmer and maybe that's one of your seeds or that you are a planner because that's one of the things you do. Or maybe you're a, a soccer player, whatever the case is, right? A lot of us have these different seeds. We have more than one too. And we got to figure out what is our seeds, right? Like I will, I did tennis. My parents sent me for tennis for a little bit. I was lucky. My parents, they were all about experiences. We went to tennis. I'm not good at tennis. That's not one of my seeds, right? And we quickly moved on after that. But I think, because being a parent, having family, it's a very big responsibility. You're trying to grow this child and you're trying to raise them. The stress is you don't know what their seed is. And life and circumstance may not allow you the ability to just give them all the experiences in the world. But we fall back on, hey, what if they're an apple not too far from the tree, falling off the, from the tree, right? Um, and we give them your parents' experience. Like, hey, I'm a good cook. You're probably a good cook. Let's do cooking. And that may not be the thing. And that's, that's you gotta be careful to all my parents out there. Your child has their own seed and we need to identify what is it in them. Kids, parents listening to this, you may not have identified all your seeds as you were growing up. Some of you still have them in there, dormant and waiting to still be identified and taken care of. It's not too late. The whole idea, guys, of, of being seedful and having these things within inside of us is figuring out what is is. And the best way to figure that out is by learning, by being curious, by trying different things, experimenting. No experience is ever wasted because you either learn what works, what you like, what you love, what you're passionate about, or you learn what you want to avoid, right? You, you figure it out. And I'm not saying we're going to ignore everything, right? Uh, I learned I was afraid of heights, but in my 30s, I also learned that it doesn't have to control me. So there, there are things we will address that stuff later, but by doing these different experiences, that's how you figure it out. Not all experiences have to be costly or expensive. There's the library, there's YouTube channels, social media channels that teach things, podcasts, and there's even just different things that you could be doing at home. Try, experiment, learn things and see what you like. Maybe you aren't meant to be a doctor. Maybe you were meant to be a journalist. Maybe you aren't meant to be an actor. Maybe you were meant to be a teacher. Or maybe you were meant to be all these things in one at different points in your life. Life is about change, 
we learn and we try and we, we grow. And what one person is may not be what the next person is. What your one child is may not be what the other child is. Be careful about painting everyone with the same brush. The world is multicolored. There's different shades, there's different colors, and we won't discover them until we give it the freedom. So that's why I want you guys to be curious. I want you to just go out there and experiment. Find people to learn with, experience with. And it's never too late for those who are teenagers, those who are young adults, those who are middle-aged, those who are elderly. Whatever you define yourself as, I'm telling you right now, it's not too late. You are a sponge who can absorb knowledge and experiences. There are so many opportunities for you guys to go out there and you just got to find it. That Google is your friend. Find like interest groups, try something else, see if it works for you and see if it doesn't, right? Don't, you didn't waste your time. That's the thing. You, this is how life is supposed to be living and trying new things and seeing what works and what doesn't work and enjoying the ride. It's not always about the destination. My podcast is called Chasing Dreams not dreams achieved because it's about the journey and not just the destination. All right. So keep that in mind because you are smart. You have passions that are still to be discovered. And I can't wait for you guys to discover them because the world will be a better place when you live within yourself and your true authentic story. So you do that. Okay. Cause you are awesome. You are loved and you are needed. And most importantly, you are enough as you are, just the way you are. So till tomorrow when we check back in, remember, don't stop. Keep chasing.